Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Angelia Mall Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you uh, through this video lecture on the topic Cooling Load Estimation and Air Conditioning Systems. Cooling Load in the Air Conditioning Calculation. Uh, the cooling load is defined as the amount of total amount of heat to be removed from the air conditioned space. So, uh, as we told already, air conditioning means maintaining low temperature and uh, maintaining record humidity uh, inside the air conditioned space. Maintaining the temperature, con uh, controlled temperature and the controlled relative humidity inside the uh, room inside the air conditioned space. We have to remove the heat from the room. The amount of the total amount of heat uh, to be removed is called as cooling load. The source of heat energy may be different that we will discuss later. So, the total amount of heat to be removed from the air conditioned space is called the cooling load. Uh, initially, we discuss certain parameters, certain definitions on the cooling load calculation. Then we will see what are the different types of cooling load. The first the type, it is sensible heat load. Sensible heat load is the heating or the cooling, low, cooling uh, air required in the air conditioned space. So, the amount of actually the sensible heat load is due to the heating of or cooling of air. So, already we discussed the process called the sensible heat or sensible cool, cooling. So, the amount of heat removed uh, and amount of heat added uh, that is what sensible heat load. So, this is calculated QS equal to MA into H2 minus H1. So, MA is the mass of the air, H2 is the enthalpy at the outlet and H1 is the enthalpy at the inlet. Latent heat load, the gain or loss of moisture in the air conditioned space caused the latent heat load. So, when you add the water vapor or remove the water vapor, that add the latent heat. When you, uh, a gain of moisture will require dehumidification of air and hence cooling load. A loss of moisture will require humidification of air and hence heating load. So, when you heat, there will, it will, actually when you heat the, we have to add water vapor. So, that is what humidification. So, heating and the humidification will go together. When you cool, we have to remove the uh, water vapor. That is what the dehumidification. So, the cooling and dehumidification will go together. So, the lettering heat load equal to MA into H4 minus H3. So, H4 is the final enthalpy after uh, lettering heat additional uh, after humidification or dehumidification and H3 is the enthalpy before the process. MA is the mass of the air. And the total heat load, uh, total heat load equal to QS plus QM, latent heat load plus sensible heat load. Uh, sensible heat factor, this is one parameter for the design of air conditioning system. So, sensible heat factor equal to ratio of sensible heat load to the total heat load. So, QS divided by QS plus QM. So, this is sensible heat factor. Then we define the room sensible heat factor. Uh, we just uh, add RSHF, room sensible heat factor. That is equal to ratio of room sensible heat divided by the room total heat. So, the room total heat is the sum of room sensible heat at the room that may be. So, room sensible heat divided by room total heat and the denominator room total heat is the sum of room sensible heat and the room latent heat. And the grand sensible heat factor. So, this is given by GSHF, grand sensible heat factor that is equal to that is the ratio of total sensible heat divided by grand total heat. So, total sensible heat, grand total heat, which is the sum of total sensible heat and total latent heat. And uh, the, what is uh, the total sensible heat? Total sensible heat equal to room sensible heat, what we calculated earlier in the previous calculation, plus OASH. So, OASH is the outside air sensible heat. 
and uh, total latent heat is equal to room latent heat what we calculated earlier plus oa lh outside air latent heat now what is this oa lh oa oa sh or oa lh room outside air sensible heat or outside air latent heat so in the air conditioned space there is a possibility of leaking of outside air inside the air conditioned room maybe due to the crack in the wall maybe due to the a small gap in the windows or maybe due to the opening of the door inside the of opening door of the air conditioned space so normally in the air conditioned room uh, the room will be quite often opened by the people who is entering or leaving the air conditioned space as and when you are opening and closing so there is a possibility of atmospheric air outside air entering into the air conditioned space that will add the load to the room the load and added to the room it may be sensible heat or latent heat so what is sensible heat increase adjusting the temperature is the sensible heat latent heat adjusting the moisture is the latent heat so when you add the water vapor remove the water vapor that increases the latent heat when you heat the air or cool the air uh, that increases the uh, sensible heat and effective sensible heat factor uh, it is the ratio effective room sensible heat divided by effective room sensible heat plus effective room latent heat so this is effective room sensible heat divided by effective room total heat so what is effective room sensible heat this is r s h plus o a s h this is again i will discuss earlier into the bypass factor so the bypass factor is uh, depending on the uh, the efficiency of the device used for the particular operation uh, similarly you take the er lh effective room latent heat is again r lh plus o a lh into b bpf that is bypass factor bypass factor depending on the efficiency of the device used um, for heating or cooling humidification or dehumidification so when you solve the problem you can understand what is the uh, bypass factor so cooling load so the cooling load of air conditioning system is classified into room load which falls directly on the room and the total load that falls on the air conditioned apparatus so we calculate the room load and we calculate the total load on the air conditioning apparatus what do you mean by air conditioning apparatus the heater cooler humidifier dehumidifier uh, fan everything all the equipment uh, used for the air conditioning system they are the apparatus so there is load falling so there is it is all the equipments are loaded that is what the total load falling on the air conditioning apparatus what are all the room load so room load includes the room sensible heat or room latent heat uh, then the solar and transmission heat gain through the wall and the roof so what are what, what is the what are all the component of the room a sensible heat of the room water heat so the solar radiation falling on the wall solar radiation falling on the roof and the amount of heat transmitted through the side wall and the roof into the air conditioned room that is what the cooling load solar and the transmission heat gain through the glass the window glass or there will be glass door so all the through the glass we are get uh, heat is trans solar heat is transmitted that is also adding the heat load then the internal heat gain so the heat is produced inside the air conditioned room uh, from the people the power uh, equipment uh, the light and the appliances we may have fan we may have light we may have some ups inside the room we may have some computer inside the air conditioned room all the equipment everything is producing heat due to its operation so the total heat that is what the internal heat gained by the people and the equipment appliances light fan everything available inside the room and the supply duct heat gain in a larger air conditioning application uh, like uh, air conditioning the theater air conditioning the shopping mall the air conditioned air is carried through the duct uh, a rectangular uh, cross sectional pipe duct uh, the when the air is flowing through the duct the atmospheric air is falling on the atmospheric heat is falling on the outside of the duct so that is also adding heat load to the 
uh, air conditioned uh, air, air conditioned air, conditioned air, that is what supplied that the heat gain. And the infiltration, that is what when the people are opening the door, some atmospheric air is entering into the room, that is what called as infiltration. Because of the inf infiltration, uh, there will be uh, heat load to the system and bypass of outside air. So the outside air is uh, actually the, after the conditioning, the outside air is bypassed from the equipment. So that is also giving the load uh, to the uh, total uh, room load of the equipment. These are all the different components of the room load. Total load, it is effective room sensible heat, effective room latent heat, return duct heat gain, return duct leakage gain, humidifier load, piping losses. So these are all the different losses. So we, we carefully think and write down the various heat load uh, on the air conditioned room. So all these things are to be calculated and uh, based on the total load, we have to design the equipment, heat transfer, I mean the air conditioning equipment uh, for carrying out the duty, air conditioning duty. Now, air conditioning system. Uh, air conditioning we defined earlier. Air conditioning, it is conditioning, controlling the temperature and humidity in a space, in a room. Air conditioning is controlling the temperature and humidity in the room. That is what air conditioning. Air conditioning system, it is the assembly of different part, assembly of different equipment required to produce specified condition of the air within a required space of the building. So air conditioning system, it is defined as an assembly of different parts of the equipment of the system used to produce a specified condition of air within a required space of the building. That is what the air conditioning system. And we classify the air conditioning system by under different headings. Uh, first heading according to the purpose. Uh, it may be comfort air conditioning or industrial air conditioning. So the comfort air conditioning uh, it is the assembly of equipment or design of the air conditioning system for human comfort. And industry air conditioning, uh, it is the uh, assembly or design of air conditioning system uh, for the industrial operation. There are certain industrial operations which require a controlled environment. Uh, for example, CNC machine operation, even computer room, uh, robotics room, uh, all the metrology laboratory equipments, uh, uh, some of the textile operations, some of the uh, pharmaceutical operation. There are various industrial uh, operations required controlled environment. That is what industrial air conditioning system. According to the season of the year, it may be winter air conditioning system, summer air conditioning system or year round air conditioning system. So it is a, a system used for winter season. Air conditioning system used for summer season and air conditioning system, air conditioning system designed for throughout the year. So it will be combination of summer and the uh, winter air conditioning components. And according to the arrangement of component, this may be central air conditioning system, window air conditioning system and the split air conditioner. Central air conditioning system, uh, it is actually it is used for, uh, uh, for larger uh, applications, for example, uh, shopping mall, air conditioning a shopping mall, air conditioning a uh, theater, uh, air conditioning some industry, huge industry, that is, uh, that is what uh, that is, they are called a central air conditioning system. And the window air conditioner, this is for a particular room. Normally, the window air conditioner, as the name implies, uh, we fix the air conditioner in the window. Nowadays, we are not using the window air conditioner, we are going for a spilt air conditioner. So, in the spilt air conditioner, uh, it is very popular nowadays. Uh, the, they have two components, indoor unit and the outdoor unit. So we fix across the wall. So through a small opening, small hole in the wall, we will fix this built air conditioner. So we will see. And the equipment used in the air conditioning system, various equipments used in the air conditioning system. So we require a fan, a filter, supply duct, supply outlet, return outlet, air conditioning unit. What is the use of the fan? Normally, we use a, a fan for circulation of the air. So, in the in the air conditioner, 
uh, the fan will be at the entrance of the uh, indoor unit. There will be a fan to circulate the conditioned air across the room. So we have to uh, throw the air, uh, cold air uh, for the entire room. So we require a fan for circulation of the air. So fan is used for uh, widespread circulation of the air conditioned air. Filter. A filter normally it is at the entrance of the uh, equipment uh, which remove the unwanted dust particle impurities from the air. So the uh, normally uh, for any operation of the human comfort uh, we have three levels of filter uh, in the air conditioner system to remove the dust particles from the air. And supply duct, so this is used in the huge applications, industrial air conditioner or central air conditioner. So all the equipment, the actually supply duct is a horizontal a rectangular duct through which the air is carried. The conditioned air uh, from the evaporator, from the air conditioned space, it is carried to the building through the supply duct. They are made by cop, uh, steel or aluminium. Supply outlet, so the end of the supply duct, we may have some grills. Uh, so the grills will have the uh, oscillating or uh, we can uh, open open and the close the grill uh, depending on the requirement. So supply outlet, they are grills. So through which the conditioned air is supplied to the room. And return outlet, this is the opening through which the air is taken, taken and processed in the air conditioning equipment once again. And the entire air conditioning unit, other equipment, other unit, uh, for example, uh, for humidification cooling, we require uh, a refrigeration circuit uh, for doing the operation. So these are all the various equipments used for air conditioning system. And uh, first we take up the comfort air conditioning. So this is designed for uh, human comfort. Normally, uh, we use the split air conditioner or window air conditioning in the, human, in the home. Uh, they are all comfort air conditioning system. Uh, normally for human comfort, the temperature required is 21 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius and uh, the relative humidity in the range of 50 to 70. So we adjust the temperature between 21 to 24 and humidity between 50 to 70. So we use the split AC nowadays or window AC, uh, which is tuned to this condition uh, to produce comfort air uh, for the human being, for the people who are all sitting in the office or at the home. And the industrial air conditioner, so it is used in the industry. Uh, with various industrial operations require the conditioned air. Normally, in the industry, we use either the uh, split AC or window AC, or sometimes we are using the equipment. Uh, we, we, we assemble all the equipment in a room and produce the conditioned air. So, from the room, the air is taken to the office room or the uh, various places using the duct. So that is what industrial air conditioning. So industrial air conditioning, either it may be single unit uh, split AC or it, it, may, it may be a huge unit like central air conditioning. Then winter air conditioner. So look at the diagram for a moment. We have various equipments assembled together. You have a filter preheater, humidifier, reheater, fan. And uh, from this opening, we have the conditioned space. The air is going to the conditioned space. For winter conditioning, we require heating and humidification. So heating and humidification is the uh, process required for winter air conditioning system. So you take the outside air. Outside air is entering using the damper. So damper, they are the opening, we can control manually or automatically. So the complete vertical position of the damper is closer, complete horizontal position, it is the maximum opening. So inclined position, it is partially open. The outside air and recirculated air are mixi mixed together here and it is filtered. The dust particle impurities from the air, they are removed and it goes to the heating, preheating. First, we are using a heating coil. We heat the temperature of the air. There is increase in temperature and reduction in the specific humidity. When you, when you heat the air, 
automatically the water vapor will evaporate. Then we add water vapor, so humidification. So adding the water vapor will further, so it will increase the water vapor present in the air, also it will reduce the temperature. So we compensate the temperature and readjust the temperature, that is why we have to have, we, we have a reheater here. So first preheating, increasing the temperature, humidification, adding water vapor by means of a spray, water spray. Then because of the humidification, there will be fall in temperature that is compensated here in the reheater. And this is the conditioned air and through the fan, using the fan, it is circulated to the air conditioned space. So this is used in the winter air conditioner. And the summer air conditioner, so what is the operation required? Cooling and dehumidification. So look at various components here. So first we have a filter, we have the damper. And here for the cooling, cooling and dehumidification, we have a refrigeration circuit. So as usual, the air from the recirculated air, it is entering here. Outside air using the damper, it is entering here. These two air, it, it goes through the filter where the dust particles are removed. Then it flows over the cooling coil. So the cooling coil, look at this, this is the evaporator coil of the refrigeration system. So in the refrigerator, so we have the evaporator, compressor, condenser, expansion valve and then it is circulated. So inside the coil, we have low temperature refrigerant. So it absorbs the heat energy. So the absorbing the heat energy or removing the heat energy, which will cause the reduction in temperature. So because of the reduction in temperature, the water vapor condenses and the water dews are formed and the dews water particles are collected in the uh, water particle are stopped and collected in the tray here so this coil will used for is used for cooling and dehumidification it is cooled because of the cooling there will be water vapor are condensed and the dehumidification is taking place and the next we have the heater so the, there will be a decrease in temperature that is to be adjusted. So the heating coil will adjust the temperature uh, to the required condition. Then the air is uh, circulated through the fan to the air conditioned space. So this is the summer air conditioning system. And for year round air conditioning system, uh, the, it is combination of these two. So there will be a heater, there will be a cooler, there will be a humidifier and the dehumidifier. All the equipments are assembled together. So based on the outside temperature conditions, we regulate the required equipment, we control the required equipment, required operations and we produce the uh, air conditioned air. So it is year round air conditioning, it is assembly of the two systems. Uh, central air conditioner and uh, central air conditioner. So central air conditioner, it is, it is used for the huge applications uh, like a shopping mall, theater, uh, huge industry, uh, some warehouses, storage houses, so all these things, uh, they are called as central air conditioning, uh, where we have the, all the equipment required for air conditioning, they are assembled in your room and uh, the condition the air is produced and they are carried to the space uh, using the uh, supply duct, the rectangular duct uh, for air conditioning. So they, all the, this is a huge installation. Uh, for a huge application like a shopping mall and the theater. And the window air conditioner, it is which is what we are familiar. Uh, earlier, earlier days we are using the window, window air conditioner and this is the window portion, this is the window wall. We are fixing the entire air conditioner on the win window. So at the entrance, this is the room. This is the room where we require the air conditioned air. So we have a filter here and uh, we have the evaporator coil and we have the motor fan here we have the condenser and this is the uh, compressor and we have the capillary tube so all the equipment of air conditions evaporator capillary tube condenser and the compressor so the hot air is going here so the cooling air from the atmosphere is entering so we have a uh, deflector here so here we have a deflector so the air from the atmosphere is directly entering here and it falls on the, it flows through the evaporator coil to the conditioned space. So the evaporator coil will cool the temperature of the air and control the uh, humidity and the conditioned air, the air is going to the conditioned, I mean air conditioned space. And the fluid, the refrigerant, 
from the evaporator through the uh, capillary tube it flows to the condenser so in the sum of uh, some amount of air is flowing to the condenser so where the refrigerant is cooled and the hot air is led to the atmosphere and the refrigerant once again it is circulated back to the uh, uh, back to the uh, the capillary tube and the evaporator so it is circulated this way so this is the window air conditioning then split ac which is what uh, we have we are using nowadays there are two unit one is indoor unit and the outdoor unit so in the indoor unit we have the evaporator and the outdoor unit we have the capillary tube condenser and the compressor so normally when you look at the window unit we have the evaporator coil we have the filter we have the fan and all the control units are inside the room that is what the indoor unit the control equipment the fan the filter the evaporator all the four equip four components are there inside and the compressor condenser and the capillary tube are they are on the outside so the outdoor unit and the indoor unit, indoor unit they are connected by a small pipe uh, the pipe is uh, i mean running through the the wall so we drill a small hole across the wall and through the hole we are connecting the indoor unit and the outdoor unit that is what we spill air conditioner so thank you we'll meet again in the next lecture